никто Я единственный в огне Кто читает свои сны Поклоняюсь темноте It was Halloween. Rigby and Mordecai were out trick-or-treating. They saw a house, and so they went up to it. They knocked on the door, but no one answered. They knocked again, and again, no one answered. Mordecai told Rigby to just leave and go to another house, but Rigby was mad about this. Why didn't the person to the door he could see lights inside the house so he decided to egg the house luckily he had brought some eggs just for this occasion he unloaded the entire carton of eggs onto the house after rigby finished egging the house the duo left but as they were leaving the owner came out he yelled at Rigby and said, You think you can egg my house? It's going to be a pain to clean that mess up. Now then, in due time, I will show you true pain. You will never forget. And the owner cursed Rigby. And at this point, Mordecai and Rigby ran away. About a week passed and Mordecai and Rigby had forgotten about the whole ordeal. That was until Rigby started to transform. Rigby started to transform into a house. He ran to Mordecai who screamed, Ah dude, what's happening to you? Rigby then yelled, I don't know, what's going on? Rigby then ran outside, where the transformation took its full effect. Rigby had transformed into a full-sized house. The entire park crew went outside to see what was going on, and they saw what Rigby had become. Mordecai then told them that it must have been the owner of that house, and he have somehow cursed Rigby into turning into a house. They all went inside the house, or more accurately, Rigby, and they started to take a look around. After exploring for a bit, they were all in the living room when, all of a sudden, they got a voicemail on the phone, and it said, I told you. I would make you experience true pain, but this is only the beginning. I'm coming for you and your friends. The voicemail then ended, and the park crew was in shock by this. But they decided they had to do something, and so they geared up, waiting for whatever or whoever was coming for them. They all stood guard inside the house with weapons, with Muscle Man taking guard with a shotgun on the porch. It was now nighttime. The wind was rustling. The muscle Man heard something move in the woods, so he went to see what it was. Muscle Man disappeared, and the next thing that could be heard was gunshots, and then silence. The entire park crew looked out the windows to see what was going to happen, but then all of a sudden, Muscle Man's corpse was thrown through the door with gunshots all over his body. The phone then rang, and High Five Ghost picked it up. It was the owner who said, Gotcha! High Five Ghost was then sucked into the phone, who was dismembered over and over again, until and what was left of him started to drip 
from the phone. The owner then showed himself, who was a hideous looking warlock. When everyone saw this, they all ran in separate directions, except for Skips, who decided to stay and fight. But the warlock used his magic to push Skips up into the chimney and light the entire chimney up in flames, burning Skips into ash. The warlock then went after Benson, who was hiding in the bathroom. The warlock destroyed the door, and Benson started to panic in fear. He tried to run away, but the warlock used his magic to float Benson into the toilet, drowning him, and then crushing his body so small that the warlock could flush him down the toilet. The warlock then went after Pops, who was hiding in a bedroom. Pops was beyond scared of what might happen. The door then swung open and the warlock slowly walked in. Pops used his slingshot to shoot a rock at the warlock, but the warlock caught the rock with his fingers and he crushed it into dust. The warlock then used his magic to float Pops into the cabinet, and then making it disappear, making Pops disappear along with it. The only ones that remained were Mordecai and Rigby. Mordecai was downstairs telling Rigby that everything would be okay. Mordecai then saw the warlock slowly walking down the stairs. The warlock used his magic to create an inconceivable fast and sharp wind that when it hit Mordecai, decapitated him. Rigby yelled for anyone to see if they were okay, but he got no answer. The warlock then appeared in front of him and said, that all of his friends were dead. The warlock then started to laugh as he used his magic to pick up the park house and make it crush Rigby to death. The warlock laughed, saying, I told you you would experience a pain you have never felt before. The warlock continued to laugh, and then left the gruesome scene. The authorities would find, the authorities would see what had happened in this horrific event would be known as the Park Massacre.